Welcome to February, and depending on which groundhog you listen to, it's either spring or we got six more weeks of winter. The skiers are in favor of the six more weeks of winter because the snow at Silver Star is awesome right now. And the rest of you who don't like winter sports and are thinking more about golfing and lake activities are probably thinking, well, I'm voting for the uh, groundhogs who predicted winter is over. So all the way from Shubakanati Sam in Nova Scotia to the groundhog right here, Okanagan Oki at the Allen Brooks Nature Center up here on the hill. Uh, we've got a various selection of, I saw my shadow, I didn't see my shadow. Spring is here or is six more weeks of winter, take your pick. Have fun with it. In the meantime, weather statistics are a hit and miss proposition, I think. But real estate statistics, looking backwards, are pretty straightforward. Here we are, January. What happened? The state of the market. We are didn't jump to a buyer's market. We maintained in a buyer's market with 7.76 months of inventory. That inventory continues to stay available. It's taking longer to sell. Number of active listings, 225. Again, this is residential. New listings, 82 on the market. Number of sales took a real dive. Now, again, our comparative is compared with the same month last year, 29 versus 50 some last year. We'll get the exact numbers on the next page. Stabilize, this dropped a little bit, 51 days on the market, but it's by between 50 and 55 days on the market right now. It's been pretty consistent. Homes are selling for 95.38% of their asking price. That means that you're basically getting that much on, on what's asked and asking price is coming down slightly. Benchmark price, 696.5, median 728, and average 787, 621. So what does all this mean to you? It means the market is stabilizing. It's stabilizing in low of a buyer's market. That is putting downward pressure on prices. That does not mean prices are falling or plummeting or anything like that. It just means there is a bit of downward pressure on price. It means buyers have more time to shop. Buyers can put regular conditions on, a, on an offer, which we've discussed in the past in this position because it has been changing to that over the past six or eight months. Sellers, it means your pricing is even more important than it was before. And it also means condition of your home should be really good to get a good sale. Let's take a closer look at that absorption rate so you can see what's happened. Right here is the beginning of COVID, March, April, 2020. And then we've been in that strong seller's market up until last summer, spring, summer, when it started to shift. You can see last month we did that significant bounce with the cold spell and everything in December. Now we're it's virtually dead level, but it's dead level above that red line. That red line is between those red lines rather is a balanced market. So we're sitting in seller's market, ter pardon me, sitting in buyer's market territory. Again, that's going to put downward pressure on real estate pricing. Let's look at that graph everybody seems to like. This is courtesy of the Association. All these stats, by the way, courtesy of the Association of Interior Realtors. And this graphic is courtesy of the Interior Realtors. So single family dwelling, again, this is the type of what drives the entire marketplace. If single family dwellings don't sell, very little else sells. So sales down, I said 50%, 49.1% from, again, January compared to January last year. Benchmark price is a decrease of 5.5%. Days to sell down 3.1%. Again, like I said, it's fluctuating between 50 and 55 days on market right now. Inventory is up significantly to 225 homes. You can see here we've got the same numbers the equivalent numbers for the Central Okanagan, Shushwap, Revelstoke, and also the South Okanagan. We don't discuss them at length because our home territory is right here in the heart of the North Okanagan. Townhouses, sales down. But interestingly enough, a bonus for the townhouse sellers, prices up 7.8%. Days to sell up, inventory is increasing as well. And in the condo and apartment market, which we have relatively few of here in the North Okanagan, but nonetheless, their sales were down, their benchmark price also up. 
and days to sell up and inventory down. Again, remembering that benchmark price is what the board and many other areas are using now. It's the estimated sales price of a benchmark property. It's detailed down here. A benchmark represents a typical property within each market area. So a typical apartment, a typical townhouse unit, and a typical single family dwelling. So for more information and specifics about your area, whether you're on an acreage or waterfront, give me a call. My cell is 250-938-2100. We can have a discussion about what exactly these statistics mean to you. And if you're just curious and want to know, give me a call anytime. And if you have a friend or family member who's looking at buying or selling and needs help, we're here to help. So remember, at Century 21 Executives in Vernon, I'm Don Miller, and I'm sold on Vernon. Thanks for watching.